Hey everybody, Devstro here. From time to time, I get people sending me messages saying, hey, go into detail about how you do this. How do you get a miniature out of the blister and, and as a final finished painted product? So I uh, thought I'd take the opportunity to do that. Disclaimer, this is not an instructional video. I'm not telling you to do it this way. I'm just showing you the way I do it. All right, so if you get a kick out of that, if that's something you wanna see, Go ahead and watch this video. I know I did one similar to this approximately two years ago or so, but that was a very abbreviated version. So if you've seen that one, um, think of this as the director's cut. YouTube allows longer videos now. Um, I'm gonna go into a bit more depth and detail. And some things have changed since then. It's, it's an ever evolving process for me. I don't know if there is a best practices, I haven't found it. And I know we all kind of do things a little bit differently. So this is the way that I approach the modeling, painting aspects of the hobby. Okay, here's the first step is to get a miniature in a blister pack. All good to go here. Now I should warn you, this is a, a several day process for me to get a miniature from a blister to a point where I am ready to paint it. Um, I'm just very particular and take my time and do things right and not rush them. So I usually have various miniatures in various stages of the process so that I can paint stuff. Now you want to figure out what to do with this. You don't want to lose these things. I like to do a little inventory uh, to make sure that I have everything. Uh, if not, then I can contact the company and uh, you know tell them who packed it and get some replacements. Not that I've had any problems with this company. So I've got my base um, and the mini. Looks to be what it purports on the picture is I don't know thing with these these wings here all right so we got that check um, now this I'm going to wash um, I have read heard that there's various release agents on the metal to get them out of the molds this right now has sort of a greasy feel to it when I rub my fingers across it and I want to get that off of there off of the miniature uh, ever since I started doing this step, the, the bath for the miniature, I've had a lot better success at putting glue on them and actually getting them to stick and having paint primer adhere to them and stay on. So it's a, a step I do. Um, but I don't really need to bathe this base. So I have these little, little things that I put them in, little projects, trays where I try to keep everything together. So let's put my base in there and I'll put my stack of stuff in there as well. Right. Got that for later when we need it. Then I have a little bigger thing that I, I use for the bathing the miniatures. And I'll usually do it as a big batch. I'm not for demonstrative purposes. I'm only doing uh, one here at a time. I've already put a little dish soap in there. Um, and then I'm going to put some water in it. As you can see, this is my hobby sink. I wouldn't recommend using your, your nice sink for all your hobby purposes and having little bits of Peter filings and stuff in it. See, I got a lot of little paint splatters in here for my various projects. I like to get the water a little warm, you know, warm. Doesn't have to be uh, totally hot, but get nice and warm there. And pour the water over the soap, get some froth. I got a, I got enough in there now. Huh? Then I leave it sit. Let's come back in, I don't know, half hour, hour? Does that sound good? Okay, now here we are back. Um, it's been a little while. I don't have any definite time amount. I'll just, sometimes I'll just leave them for hours and come back to them, leave them overnight. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Um, now I'm gonna rinse them off. And what I like to do is, I don't want parts going down the drain. Yeah, there's a trap and stuff, but I, I usually put something over it. I keep this little box, little plastic thing. It's got a little indentation in it to maybe catch things. Um, kind of get all the soap off, blast it with some water. For this I'll use cold water. I find that cold water is better at getting rid of soap than hot water is. Let the well just come out. So you're going to be able to see the minis. Usually I have two hands for this. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Oh, and I forgot my little, uh, my little thingy. I forgot one thing. Hold on. I needed to get something to put the wash parts in. Pull out. Rub them off. Let the water do most of the work. Okay. Tidy up a bit. And I've got my little container here with the person. Now for the next step, drying. Okay, these are still pretty moist. I want to get as much moisture off of them as possible. And ideally, you want them to be dry when you're working with them. Uh, this is probably not going to be the first or last time you hear me say this, but environmental conditions, I've come to find, play such a big role in the assembly and painting of miniatures. Um, I keep a little weather station handy. So I can tell you it's 17% humidity in here right now. Uh, if, if there's more humidity, it's going to take longer to dry. It affects your painting. It affects gluing. It affects everything. So know your weather conditions. Um, I had to adjust. I moved to a high altitude uh, in a high desert situation, and I wasn't really used to that. And it took me a while to get everything sorted. So I have a box here lined with paper towels. Um, and I'm just going to set the pieces out on here. No particular order. Um, and then I'm going to let this sit. I'm going to let it sit at least overnight before I start working with this again. Yeah, as I said it's a multi-day process. Um, I'm going to let it sit. I put it up someplace safe so that the kids can't get into it. And I have a special place. I put a little lid on here in case it gets bumped or disrupted. And uh, I'll come back to it in a day. Okay, so next day, this, this would be the next day after everything's dried and I get the mini. And pull it out then it's time to clean it clean the flash off do any assembly that's necessary for the miniature and uh, then get it put into its its little little slot of base so I get all my tools handy to do that I've got uh, an exacto knife which I use for a couple different purposes one uh, sometimes I use it for scraping if there's a, a line or something that needs to be removed I use this more on plastics than I do metals but I do occasionally use it on metals what I also use it too is sort of a glue cleaning off tool if some of the glue seeps out I got a fine point I can get in there and get it out um, and then I've taken to pinning almost anything that I think I can get a pin in I pin it so I've got my pin vise, I've got my bits, my little bit of paper clip. Uh, these are, are, are handy frequently. I've got um, kind of the big man fingers and when I'm trying to get small parts in together, uh, when I'm gluing them, it doesn't work out. So I can grip them with these tweezers, forceps I think some people call them, and hold things in place. Pretty handy to have around. And then this is poster tack, uh, has myriad uses. Um, what I use it for today, let's see, I, I had some little stray drill uh, detritus, whatever you want to call it, from the little, let's see, there it is, some stuff left over, and it was kind of stuck in a nook on the mini, and I couldn't get it out by blowing or anything, so I made this into a little point, and then just dabbed it in there, and, and pulled out the little scraps from the drill hole. Um, it's really handy with pinning. Uh, General Splatton taught me this, and I think he learned it from a P3 video. Once you've drilled one hole and you've got, you want to know where to put the hole on the other side, you get a tiny little bit of this, make it flat, and get the pieces lined up how you want them, push them together, and then when you pull it apart, you'll see where the hole should be in the angle. And then I just drill right into it, into the surface behind to, to get my, my hole started. And then I've got some flush, flush clippers here. They're made for clipping things off of plastic screws. I have a separate pair that I use for that. These are the ones I use on metal. Um, metal can be really, really hard on them, so I kind of keep them separated for, for separate jobs. Uh, 
use these for, to get bigger pieces removed from the mini or sometimes to trim the tab on the bottom. The ignition files, I've got a file set. It's a Craftsman lifetime warranty, um, but I've never really had to take advantage of that. And then I'll usually pull out my half round. Sometimes I use the round and I usually use the the equaling. When I get into the filing, I'll kind of show you what I use the, the different ones for. Sometimes I've used the square or the three square. I don't know why they call it three square. It's really just triangular. Uh, but this is my main workhorse, half round. It's rounded on one side and flat on the other. Um, and then sometimes the round, yeah, the, the equaling guy. And then I get my glue handy. And I've sort of shifted. I now really like to use the super glue control gel um, it's in this little plastic thing here and when you squeeze you can sort of control how much gel comes out previously I had used the super glue gel notice it's not the uh, control gel um, but what I've noticed and this might be I don't know if this is packaged at sea level so it's just not used to the lack of pressure at this altitude but Notice how I'm not squeezing it or anything. Probably won't do it now that it's on camera. And it knows it's being watched. Uh, if I could even get this stuff open. Oh, you're kidding me. See, that's why I don't use it anymore. Is because I can't even, uh, yeah, can't even pry it open. There we go. Yeah, I mean, there it is there. I was having troubles with it. It would just sort of just freely come out when I wasn't when I wasn't using it and wasn't intending on using it. Maybe it's doing a little bit there. So I'd have to always have it over something and there'd be a big a big puddle of glue. What's going on? Why does it just keep coming and coming out of the tip? I don't I don't want the glue. I mean just look at how how kind of gross and nasty that is, yeah. Uh, the control gel I do not have that problem with so that's why I've switched over to using that I can just get out the little bits that I want so I save this and I use it on terrain or, or bigger projects where I'm going to be using a ton of glue let me get that guy cleaned off it's just dang nasty oh and yeah and kids always be careful when you're working with with super glue I mean really it can it can bond things together quickly, permanently. So, so be careful. Um, that's that. So then I got uh, got a mini here. This is Miranda Arcanist. Uh, just kind of kind of look it over. This is Beast Mistress, I guess is what it says down there. Um, so what I was talking about on the, the equaling file that is made to remove a lot of material is I'll generally use that on the tab that goes into the Salata base. Sometimes the tabs have depth to them. They're longer this direction and so that when you're they're in the base they sort of stick up a bit and so I, I'll use this one to get it get it filed down. If the base is really really long you can use these and trim some off the bottom usually go at one side then flip it over and go to the other side and and go about it that way um, and then I always used to forget this the little there's always a little nub on the side of the the base the exacto would probably work well for this but I usually have a file in my hand when I notice it generally don't file on plastic but some things it's okay alright and then the reason why I like the half round half flat is that if I'm going to be filing on a flat surface, I want to use flat. If I'm filing over a curved surface, I want to use the curved end. The reason is, is I want to preserve the curve. And if I have just one point of contact on this curved surface with where the mold line is on the miniature, it's not going to just, if I use try and use the flat to get at her arm, it's going to really mar a lot of the detail. 